Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you today about a study that uh, came out regarding altering the gluten molecule and making it uh, a bit more palatable for those who have celiac disease. Certainly this is what every celiac and gluten sensitive patient dreams of, someone doing something to this evil protein such that they can ingest it with no problem. Now that's we're not there yet, but I do like to keep you abreast of um, what's happening in research and uh, what these particular researchers did was that they um, did a process known of, as transamidation. So an amide group is, uh, it, it contains a carbon atom, an oxygen atom, a nitrogen atom, and two hydrogen atoms. Uh, you put those all together and it's called an amide group and transamidation is basically moving that amide group, so actually changing the molecule a bit. So they did that with wheat flour, and then they fed it to celiacs who were stable and had been on a gluten-free diet for, um, I'm not sure how long, but, but they were stably gluten-free and doing well. Um, I'd be afraid to volunteer for such a study, but um, there are people who do so and all in the name of science. So what happened with this group was that there was um, the experimental group that, that received the altered wheat flour and then there was a control group that received traditional wheat flour. And what they found was that within 15 days, 75% of those receiving traditional wheat flour uh, were reacting. They were having symptoms, their blood values showed uh, inflammation kind of as you would expect. Um, but in the uh, special wheat flour, the, that that had the transamidation, um, there was 37 percent that had a reaction. And this was after 15 days. After 90 days, uh, the group eating regular wheat flour was 100 percent bad. <laughs> so they, of course, as celiacs, as you would imagine, um, everyone was now reacting and doing poorly. And, uh, but in the special group where they had altered the flour, uh, they ended up with 60% reacting to it. So a full 40% of, of that group, um, which was 14 people in this, the size of this study, uh, didn't have a reaction uh, to this flour. Now, as time went on, would they have a reaction? We don't know. The study only went for 90 days. Um, but it certainly holds some promise in the ability to alter this gluten protein and uh, get less of a response from it. So this study was done last year in 2012, and it was in the uh, Clinical and Developmental Immunology uh, Research Journal. So, um, you know, it's it's not earth-shattering, certainly, but it kind of shows what researchers are striving for and trying to do. And uh, I, I'm not sure if we'll, we'll ever get to that 100%. And what do those grains then taste like? You know, these are all, these are all questions. But um, as I said, I do like to keep you abreast of recent research. And uh, I thought you might find this one interesting because um, really of the ones that I've looked at, it, it definitely had a more impactful, positive result than, than many. So um, please send me your questions and comments. As always, I love to hear from you. And until next time, I wish you very good health.